Hello, friend. This is not a normal blog. Um, this one will probably go up on Monday. Um, I will release my normal um, devotional um, Easter season blog probably on Wednesday, uh, which I will probably record in a few minutes. Um, I have been sitting with what to do in response to the um, continued rash of gun violence and uh, the seeming precarious position of non-white um, citizens and uh, people in these United States in regards to um, gun violence over the past week. And I think what I've come to is I can't change anybody's mind who doesn't want to be changed. I can't continue to yell at the camera and say the same things. I can't um, uh, seemingly do this every six months or four months or two weeks and, um, have it not seem to make a difference until we as a nation and as a people of faith decide that our constitutional rights can take a back seat to another human's right to breathe and a, a responsibility to advocate for mercy and justice, this will continue to happen. And whether it's uh, Dante Wright in Centerville, uh, Minnesota, whether it's George Floyd in another Minneapolis area suburb, whether it's Adam Toledo in Chicago, who was 13 and unarmed, whether it's Breonna Taylor who was sitting in her own apartment. The only thing I know to do is pray for repentance. So as a person of faith, I'm asking the Lord to help me feel what it feels like to not be white in this country. Help me feel what it feels like to be a parent who fears daily whether their child will encounter the police on the way to school or on the way home from school. Help me feel what it feels like to not know if I'm safe in my own home. Put that on me if it takes it from somebody else. Help me feel the anger of a parent burying yet another child. Help me not just be in solidarity with the uh, those on the margins and those who would fear for their lives from those who should protect them, but help me feel that in my bones. And if I have ever taken advantage of my whiteness and my maleness, May I repent of that. 
help me feel for those workers in that FedEx factory who were at work doing what they could to make sure our marketplace ran on time and had their lives cut short. I repent. And make this sweater that I'm wearing sackcloth. Because that's all I can do. Oh man.